All right, everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm going to really quickly show you how to access today's assignment. So this is period four, but if you're period six, it looks just about the exact same. The only difference is obviously the Zoom links are different. But I want you to look down here where we're at on quarter one. If you click this button here and take to the 8-17-8-21 week, you can see here that these right now aren't live. However, when you're watching this, they are live. So we're going to go ahead and click on the one that says Feather Pillow Home. And by the time you're watching it, this exists. And then you're going to click here on the Open Assignment with Cami. Not this one. You're going to click the purple, the little purple K. When you click it, it should open. If you haven't yet created a Cami account, it's going to ask you to create a Cami account. Just use your Google um, email to do so because it's linked to your Schoology. And then this is going to open up here. You're going to want to have this open while you also have open my reading. My reading is posted as well. You're going to follow along with me reading. There are instructions you're going to have to do. Things like you're going to have to circle words you don't know. When you do, click the shape button here. You can pick the ellipses and then maybe you go stature and you circle it. And I believe these can be moved still. Okay, well that didn't move it. But I do believe you can move them. Um, in I think it's under the select tool. You can, if you need to move it a little bit, you can move it to make it sit properly. If you need to highlight something, mark up. You can pick a color. I'm not picky about colors. And maybe I tell you to highlight, if in my case, I have highlighted this here. You can highlight it. If you need to make a note, you might click the text box here and create a text box. And then you'll type here. And that creates text box. Click again, I'll create another one. And you can create a text box and you can move these wherever you want them. I recommend keeping them in the notes section, but if you prefer them somewhere else, go for it. If I ask you to highlight something that is evidence for your essay that you'll be writing at the end of this quarter, I encourage you to use it in a color that is consistent across the board regardless of which, which text you're using. So if you are going to always highlight every piece of evidence in your essay in green, then make sure it's in green and not in like blue. If you want to delete that, you just come up here and click the delete button and it will delete anything you don't want to keep. And that's all I need to tell you. So thank you so much guys for stopping by, for watching this. And then this is due Thursday night at 11.59 p.m., your annotations. And then the video, which you have to watch via Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle will show me how long you watch it for, as well as if you finish the entirety of the video. So thanks a bunch, guys. I'll see you guys on Friday.